So in this video, we're gonna be going over how to find the tech stack of any company, and more importantly, how to find a long list of people using the same type of tech. And the reason why you'd wanna do this, the, way, the reason why I use this is basically for my cold or outbound outreach initiatives, and it's really great. So if you're looking for someone, like a long list of companies that use a specific CRM, say HubSpot or some other one, or for example, for me, because I do LinkedIn advertising, I might be looking for people who have a Google Analytics on their website, or for example, um, a LinkedIn Insight Tag or Facebook Pixel, then I can do an outreach. Say if I find a big list and I can do this with these tools, I find a list of companies that have the Insight Tag installed and I can then do a pass or feels like a personalized outreach to them saying hey I noticed you have a LinkedIn insight tag installed and that feels personal but it's actually the same outbound email to the thousand or so people on the list so we've put all those people into a segmented basket and we then don't have to personalize each one of them or do the first liner you can check out my cold email tutorial but personalizing is really important but if we can put these people into buckets, and then we do the personalizations based on those buckets, then that's also a great technique, and tech stack is one of the best. So before we begin, hit the, don't hit the bell button first, subscribe, then hit the bell button, and let's jump in. So the ultimate uh, tech finder is built with, it's a really great one, it does, it's so good, but it's also super expensive, but basically with built with, you can, search all these different tech stacks and it gives you a really good list you can export the list and then go find the email addresses it also is quite cool because it it gives you links to their you know the founders linkedin profiles all the important people um so yeah you can do it with um you can type in like for example obviously the obvious ones like shopify right so you can go to shopify and just find a massive list or one which is like cool for me is like linkedin ads so people are doing like linkedin ads so look up and if we go to linkedin ads usage statistics uh let's have a look so there's it, it gives you all this kind of stuff and the list is if you click here you can get the list so this is a list so you can also do it by region and you can filter by numerous other bits but this is like all the companies that have are doing linkedin ads or have at least signed up to linkedin advertising so that's great because then i can put these people into the bucket and say okay these are all the linkedin ads people and i'm going to write my pro my personalized message to them it will be Yo, I saw you are doing LinkedIn ads, uh, blah, blah, blah. And that's, you know, that's the bucket, people with LinkedIn ads. Or I could find people who, for example, are doing Google ads, but not LinkedIn ads. And that's a great one. So I'd be like, hey, how's your Google ads going? I, I'm a LinkedIn ads pro. Would you ever consider doing LinkedIn ads? So I can, you know, that's a bucket of people who aren't doing LinkedIn ads, but are doing some other form of advertising. Maybe they have a Facebook pixel, but not a LinkedIn insight tag. So I'll be like, oh, I've noticed you're a B2B company of a Facebook pixel, but not a LinkedIn insight tag. LinkedIn insight tag gives you so much good, rich data. I would definitely recommend it. Do you have some time to jump on a call? And I can show you how to do that. And then, you know, that's how to build rapport. So the tech stack is a really good foot in the door kind of thing to put people into buckets. But you can find so many different types of tech stack with built with. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend built with whatever you're looking for, you can find. So another really good one, like it's not as good as built with, but actually if you consider the price point, it's, I would actually use this one, uh, Hunter. I have an affiliate link in the link below, so you can sign up to it to it this way. Hunter's great because it also gets the email addresses. It, you know, it's really quick and easy. Hunter primarily is like an email finder, Hunter, and um, that's what it primarily does. But it also started it released this tech lookup thing, so it does it does have quite a lot of different stuff like Presto Shop, Big Big Commerce. Um, I don't think it's got like LinkedIn Insight Tag that kind of stuff. It's probably got Google Analytics. Um, so it does have a lot of a good range of tech, but not as much as built with, and it's not as many companies that it knows about. So it's not as good as built with. But if you look at the price point, um, built with price point is really, really quite expensive. I and mean, you can sign up for the month and just get it. But you know, with Hunter, I believe, and I'm try still trying to work it out. But I think you get it for free with the premium plan. So if you've signed up to Hunter Premium, i.e. to get email addresses, you can just use the tech stack. And I think it does that. Well, no, sorry, it's the other way around. You can use this for free to get the list of companies, but to get the email addresses, you need to use 
Hunter or Snovio or, or Drop Contact or a enrichment tool such as Hunter to get it. So that, this is kind of convincing people just to use Hunter. So they, you can find the tech stack, but then you can use Hunter to get the emails. So if you want to do that, you can sign up to the um, Hunter by clicking on the link below. But basically, Hunter's a really good one because it's it's pretty much free. All you need to do is get the email addresses. So that is great. I'll just use Hunter to be honest with you. So the last one to check out is um, snov.io. So I love Snovio for uh, getting email addresses and getting scraping and getting email addresses from LinkedIn and other web addresses. So use Snov to get email addresses, I would say, especially if you're trying to get a list. I've got a video on that you can check out. But for the technology checker, it's probably one of the worser ones. It doesn't have a big list of companies and the tech stack is less. Um, I don't rate the technology checker, but again, you might as well use it for free because it's for free. And the reason why it's kind of like Hunter, they're trying to get you to use their primary primary service, which is the email finder thing, the the um, email, the data enrichment tool, which is what they're primarily good for. So once you get the download a large list of tech people using the tech stack, you can then upload it into Snob and you have to pay for that and you'll get the email addresses. But yeah, again, there's a link in the link below. But if you're talking just purely tech stack, I would use Hunter. If you need something very specific like LinkedIn ads or something like that, check out Built With. You can double check if they have it before paying. Um, but yeah, I think it's really a great way to put people into buckets and to have a really easy way to scale some personalization by putting a tech stack in a bucket and just sending that message out saying, I, I'm aware you're using a certain tech stack. So really use one of these tools, probably Hunt is the best one, but whichever one you use, just use it for your advantage with cold email, it's great.